Welcome to Active Engagement Learning. We're two teachers in higher education that adore helping students and learn through fun and engaging methods. We're going to be working through each one of these through our series. But for today, let's go to large group discussions. First, let's define what a large group is. For these purposes, it's four or more. To do this, you'll need a classroom that's comfortable. So this is something that works better after an icebreaker or relationship building exercise. You have to have social emotional learners in addition to academic learners. Start small and build from there. Model the activity with something fun first, then go into the class material. I like to start off with what's better, cake or ice cream? You'll learn who the debaters are versus who don't like to speak. Start off with a survey, raise your hands, then walk through how they need to think about the material. Keep them on track. Note with them when they go down a rabbit hole or where they start to veer off into the material again and somehow end up way off in the weeds. I've started off with cakes before and ended up with electromagnetism. On the screen are some fun ways that you can start the process. After one speaks, have the person repeat what the other's saying and then add on to it or refute it. Take notes on how the discussion is going so you as an instructor can improve. What are the main points of the conversation? What do the students find interesting when they compare their notes with each other? This allows them not only to be accountable to themselves in the class, but it also helps with learning and it allows them to take ownership. If you have the classroom cohesion and you want to continue to build on large group discussions, start with the students who are passionate. Have those students lead the discussion and you just act as a moderator. My favorite is to assign a fact checker or a devil's advocate whose only job is to challenge the discussion. The idea of it is that you keep the conversation going through a productive and constructive manner by utilizing the people within your class. This is about that management skills, being able to identify your students' strengths and weaknesses and using them to really enhance your class. Keegan and Keegan, who are educational researchers, have a slew of information on this topic if you're looking for more. Ultimately, this is teaching them that education is in their hands as much as in yours. The takeaways are things to focus on, develop listening and note-taking skills for you and them. Structured conversation can seem awkward at first, but it says much about letting conversations bloom as it is about controlling the flow. Until next time, 